I am supposedly live. Um, cool. Just let me know if like the audio is fine and everything. Uh, I'm just gonna get started. Um, so first about myself. Uh, my name is Luke Chop. I'm a character artist at Frontier Developments in Cambridge. And I mainly specialize in organic character sculpting, such as humans and creatures. And for today's stream, I figured we would be sculpting... Um, one second... This guy, uh, Rodin from Godzilla since he is a really cool design in my opinion, so I'll just be sculpting the head of him today. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, I'll be answering questions while I'm sculpting as well, so feel free to ask any. And yeah, if there are any issues with the audio, just please let me know. So yeah, I'm just going to start sculpting. Checking all my settings. Sorry. All right. Hey, I'm on. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Where is my computer ref? No, no, you don't need to. You do not need to draw before. Uh, if you want to learn to sculpt, there are two different uh, disciplines to answer to one's question. All right. Just quickly, got to announce on my Instagram that I'm live. Just give me a sec. Yeah, you know, whatever. It's fine. Oh, uh, my Instagram is at the over. It's over there uh, on the screen. Am um, I gonna answer that anyway? Actually, Get some music going. Is there anything you guys want me to cover or? Hey, dude. Um, 
So I'm not sure what you mean about the proper layering of muscles meeting each other. I've actually never used DAS ever. Um, some people make it part of their workflow, but I don't. change the roll distance. So it's just uh, stroke modifier, so just wait, it's the wrong one. Um, just increase the roll distance to something like this, so you get rid of the stepping. Uh, and then add this, add uh, I think it's alpha 6, and that's it. I actually don't know. Uh, let me check. Yeah, it's one. Off to a pretty rough start today, feels like. to a bunch of stuff, uh, mainly kind of metalcore, according to Spotify, um, but also listen to things like soundtracks, so it kind of really depends uh, on my mood. Hey Moon, how you doing? I feel like my mesh is too large because the amount of points I'm getting is way too high. I'm just gonna scale this down.
There we go. Oh, it's uh, Rodan from Godzilla. If I can get my pure of sheet larger. It's basically gigantic Pteranodon that's on fire. I guess. Yes, I found a Z classroom quite helpful, which is the kind of official uh, like place by Pixelogic themselves uh, on how to learn ZBrush. Hey dude. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I never really, I don't really see that much money to make a custom one, or at least a heavily custom one. So yeah, we're just keeping, keeping it simple, I guess. Um, 
I think I mainly still, still actually struggle uh, just with anatomy and stuff, where it's getting base shapes down quite fast. Like right now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm using Wacom Intuos 3. Oh, thanks, man. I'm glad you like the Allosaurus I made. kind of winged it to be honest. <laughs> oh yeah, like, Thanatopia is, is cool. I think I watched it when I was a kid. It's been, like, a very long time. Mm, they're not that hard to find. There are a bunch of books that are quite good when it comes to general anatomical shapes. Um, but the thing is, it mainly helps if you actually know the anatomy beforehand. Um, so Bridgman actually has a lot of simplified shapes. The thing is, you actually need to know um, general, like quite in-depth anatomy to understand it, or you're not really going to get much out of it. Hey, pal. Uh, no, we don't use UDIMs in games. At least we don't use them at work. Uh, sorry, was it? Oh, uh, I have never really used Sculptors Pro. Like, I don't know, I just... I tried a couple times, but I do prefer Dynamesh because it, um... It forces me to stay in a low resolution. Like, I can't just kind of jump into detailing by accident. So, uh, basically... Uh, it forces me to make sure my basic shapes are correct before, you know, advancing to a higher uh, resolution. He's like a monster from Godzilla, basically. Mm. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know, there's nothing wrong with sculptures, I guess. I just, like, the sculptures mode, I just, I don't know. Uh, it never really appealed to me from a personal standpoint. But, uh, there are people uh, that like it, I guess. Face mask again. Hey dude, thanks. I've been working for nearly two years now. Uh, no, I'm. I'm a. I, I started as a junior. Uh, and I'm now just like full, like mid. I'm not a senior yet. don't just start off as a senior sadly uh, because it's you know it's so it's a title that comes normally after about five years of working in the industry
I don't even know, man. Like, it, it changes from time to time. Like, I, I, I'm not sure if I'm able to give a proper answer right now. Yes, I am an art station. Uh, it should, my username should be at the bottom left of the screen. Uh, with my Instagram as well. I don't really try to copy anybody's style, I just try to copy what I see and emphasize the features I like. You know, if I want to emphasize certain elements, certain edges, then I will do that. Um, and that's in my opinion how you kind of just find your own style is just you, um, <sighs> you just trying to figure out what you like and what elements. Uh, are important to you visually. Hey, glad you recognized it, man. Uh, Nat, Nat Hunter. Um, let's see. The qualifications in terms of what school or university I went to. Uh, I didn't go to university at all. Oh, I ended up skipping it. Uh, like I'm, I'm completely self-taught. Hey, dude. Oh, right. Um, I just went mainly went to well, Z Classroom and a bunch of YouTube videos. And this is kind of just how I learned it. And, uh, you know, experimenting. No problem. Like it's ZBrush can be quite intimidating uh, when you're first starting. Uh, just you know because of things like the UI being quite different. Uh, but once you kind of understand the UI and where everything is, I feel like there isn't all that much to it because a lot of the buttons you see on the side uh, they're for very very specific functions. Like I I don't use them often um, as you. 
may or may not see uh, during the rest of the stream. I'll use very specific functions because that's all I kind of need. And the rest is just general sculpting. Uh, it depends on the complexity of the piece. Uh, I like I can do both. Uh, wait. Okay. So to... yeah, like I can I, I can you know I can, I can use Maya. I can use Max. Um, let's see what other questions are there. Uh, the stream is probably going to be around four or five hours. I try not to go longer than that because it tends to get quite late over here since I'm in the UK. So currently it is half past six. All right, I'm going to just split this off for now because it's a bit too dense. At least the neck is it's too high res to have proper control over, so I'm just going to. Remove it from the head. Uh, let's see. Oops. Why is this not working? Oh, there we go. Hide. Split hidden. There we go. I'm going to lower the resolution to, I don't know, 8. That's better. Thanks, man. Um, yeah, I'm from the UK. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what it's supposed to be. I'm glad it's kind of readable for now. But I'm probably just going to spend, like, the first one to two hours trying to get everything kind of laid in. Uh, and then I'm gonna start just making it look more detailed. I know it's Rodan from Godzilla. Um, to answer Farm Boy's question, how pretty is he Russian? I uh, know, so if you want to bring a model into Substance Painter, you have to give it a texture map, for, uh, like you have to UV unwrap it first, or you won't be able to texture it. If you want to bring a model into um, Substance, first thing you want to do is you should probably retopologize it. Um, and then you have to bake all your textures. Sorry, you, have to, you want to retopologize it, uh, UV unwrap it, and then you're going to be baking all the textures down. And then you can actually paint it in um, Substance. Thanks, man. Uh, it's just lots of practice.
actually feel like today I've been quite slow. <laughs> I uh, know I did not study at university. Uh, I ended up teaching myself. Yeah, as well. It's quite busy today, which was fine. Um, there might be a point where I will briefly maybe try and focus on just getting this guy along, so I might not be as um, receptive to questions as normal. But, you know, I'll try my best. I think it's mainly just as well because uh, but a lot of people have seen my org stream and have questions now, I guess. Mm, I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, to respond to Trello's question. Like, I'm just blocking in the shape of the head right now. Like, I have, a, I have my reference on my second screen. Um, to answer Yo's previous question about speed. So, it's mostly just trying to figure out ways to be more efficient, I feel. So you know, make your strokes deliberate. Like if you, if I, for example, if you want to flat, flat. So if you want to flatten this area, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be like this, right? You want to go just down the entire length so you can do it in one or two strokes. So just kind of thinking about how you place your brush strokes uh, can be quite important if you want to build speed. But I generally wouldn't really focus on speed itself. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, just try try and get things right, and over time you will just generally gain speed because your sense of form is gonna improve. Um, so I would just try and, and find the set of brushes that you are comfortable with, and you know, settle on those, practice with them, so, good, so you get a sense of how they work. I try not to use too many. I normally use like, I mainly use four brushes. Right. Well, yeah, you just gotta kind of experiment what works for you.
this helps if you're not too attached to the form you're creating, so it can be a bit messy. I'm just kind of more worried about the placement. Yeah, I mean, you know, everybody, this thing, like, everybody has their own way of doing things. So, you know, if it works for you, that's great. I mostly just try and go for things like planes. I mean, your workflows change all the time. Like, I do think I, um, I'm not sculpting the exact same way as I did a year ago. Maybe I do. I don't, I don't know. Like, try not to get too hung up in finding like the perfect solution, because it doesn't really exist in my opinion. Uh, about five to six years. Five years. No, six. Sorry. Uh, but it's been, for a while it was kind of on and off. Hey Ashley, uh, I'm sculpting Rodan from Godzilla. Like he's in the second movie, if you've seen it. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite struggling uh, right now, I feel, but I'm sure I'll get it on the road in like an hour or something. These are like a lot of subtle curves. 
a lot of angles. But yeah, his design is really cool, in my opinion. From you, it looks really rough right now. Thanks. Are you streaming tomorrow? I think it's normally Wednesdays, right? Ah, <laughs> awesome. I'll try and tune in. It's normally quite late on my side, it's like around, I think, 11. Uh, or like midnight, but uh, I'll see what I can do. Um, yes, I prefer to use a tablet over a Cintiq. It's a lot more comfortable. Like I can lean back in my chair. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, just because other people are, uh, yeah, like, just because, you know, it works for some people doesn't mean it works for everyone, or because all the cool people use it, um, doesn't necessarily mean it's better. Very wobbly right now. But yeah, like I, I used to have a Cintiq, but I just I didn't like it. Uh, so I work at uh, folk length of 85, but I normally don't disable perspective. Thanks, Daniel.
Thank you, dude. I'll do my best. I did actually make a, a render of the Allosaurus last time. Uh, if you'd like to see it, I kind of I posted it on my Instagram a couple days ago. Uh, yeah, I did. Like, it's just a ZBrush render. Uh, no, I'm not going to make the body. There's just not really enough time, so in my streams, I always just kind of try to do the head. And I'll leave it at that. Also, his body is absolutely massive with all the with you know with the wings. Um, so that would take me ages. I'm not really willing to uh, work that long with this guy. I'm gonna always try to keep them short and kind of fun, and then I move on to something else. This is me kind of more just sketching than trying to make like a super fine final piece. Yeah, exactly. I'd love to be, you know, able to say that I'm fast enough to do it, but I'm really not. Oh yeah, no, I, I know what you mean, uh, but no, I, I I don't think I am. But you know, who knows? Maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe, very big maybe. I feel like his draw is way too low. I mean, we'll probably just, I'll probably just try and match it up with my reference at one point. Which is gonna be a bit lame, but eventually I'm probably gonna have to do it if I wanna get it uh, somewhat matching. I think the toughest part for me is probably, at least currently, it's just torsos is, are, is the body part or region I'm the least comfortable with. Uh, the rest for me is honestly is, is fine. Like, I've studied it enough. With the thumbnail, do you mean this here?
fine with having it the way it is. I don't even really notice it to be honest, but it is useful when I need it. You can make it bigger and smaller as well and everything, but I'm, I'm fine with it right now. It can be good to kind of check your silhouette. Mm -hmm. Thanks, man. Because it is, or it's it's supposed to be, or it will be. Um, Definitely, I feel, because you know this game art, you need to know the topology, or you're not going to get the gig. I think it's more the staples of game art. So if you don't know the topology, you're going to have a really hard time. Um, let's see, horns... In a second, I'm just quickly trying to adjust this. Uh, yeah, like the. So, normally for games, if you have a character, you're gonna sculpt them in a neutral pose. Um, so, you know, the riggers can rig it, and it's gonna be able to. Uh, like the low poly bit will be able to kind of move in any direction, if that makes sense. So, you know, your joints, uh, you don't get a whole lot of stretching. Uh, but yeah, you, you'll just be sculpting one. Uh, for retopology, flip normals is a good video on it. Uh, yes, at work I do, or if I'm doing a game character. But if I'm just sculpting, I, I do use zero measure, which is a form of uh, retopology. But it's automated, so you know you can't use it for animation. Because it's going to give you all the sorts of issues. Oh no, like they'll just, you know, they'll be posed in whatever pose they need to be from the neutral pose. Uh, 
the hardest part. Probably sculpting. The rest can be quite straightforward, but that's just my opinion. I'm sure there are people that struggle with other aspects. Uh, yes, it's Rodan. Um, no. I don't. Mainly just because I'm leaning back in my chair. Uh, I can get a bit uncomfortable if I have been, you know, if I have been sculpting for a very long time and I haven't really moved. Uh, but like, I don't have any back pain right now, which is a good thing. Uh, no, I'm just using an office chair. I actually got it from like I got uh, my company gave it to me for working from home, and I just still just have it. Uh, so I think the jobs that are the most saturated probably are uh, concept art. Is probably the worst one. Um, and then it's character art. And the ones that are normally uh, really hard to find are people like um, technical artists, programmers, like engine programmers, technical animators, like a lot of like, really complex things. People that are quite specialized are really difficult to find, um, from what I know. I'm um, using I'm using a, a normal tablet, not a display one. Um, but I, I am actually um, I used to have a display one. I didn't like it. Like it sometimes got quite difficult after a couple of hours, and it did hurt my back. So I'm using a normal one now.
Yeah, I heard lots of good stuff about Houdini. I've never used it, um, but everybody that uses it keeps praising, keeps praising it. And they'll just do, you know, programs, tools, and features. Especially um, if you use, if the company already uses a custom one. Like mine, mine does. It is my favorite software too. Hey Promote, how are you doing? I'm, I'm good. Just sculpting. What about you? What is that? That is the cheekbone. Oof. Yeah, maps can take a while, especially AO for me takes ages. Uh, I mean, there are a couple of cool IPs out there, you know. Mm, not really. Oh, that, the, the, to answer the question, if I get anxiety when sculpting, I'm, I'm fine. Um, sorry when I'm doing that, I try to have a certain topology around it already, because uh, I only do those whenever I see your mesh, really, uh, except like pilots. Uh, but I normally try to have a lot of topology around there just so I can push things in. Just one second.
Ah, no, it's the same as you're exporting them in Marmoset. Um, to answer your based question. Uh, I You shouldn't really be worried about it. I think you should be more worried about just having clean, kind of equal topology. So you don't want a whole lot of stretching or poles, because they kind of create lumps later on, which is one of the reasons as your mesh. Oh yeah, I'm gonna place eyeballs later. I'm just worried about getting the shape working from all angles. I mean, preferably, yeah, you want a clean edge on the eyelid, to be honest. If you're working, especially if you're working from a base mesh. And uh, fingernails, I normally just split off into a separate subtool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would. That's what I would do. Uh, just keep it. Try to keep it clean. Like one thing you can do is you can um. Kind of, if you're using a base mesh, you can, kind of mess it up a bit, uh, and then later on, uh, you just load, it back in again, and then you can just z project that. So at least things are kind of cleaner. Eh, yeah, which apologies, right? It's kind of a good thing just to kind of switch your brain off and just listen to music or something. Alright, let's see, it's got the neck going somewhere. So there is a form on their Twitch page you can fill in, I believe. Uh, but I basically uh, I knew through a friend.
Thanks, Lorena. Uh, no, this is a sculpt. For fun. Not for anything specific. Thanks, man. Uh, address. Uh, to answer Malachi's question. Um, so, yeah, they do actually look at your R station first, of course. Um, and there is, there is basically an application process, so there is like an interview and everything. Um, I mean, I guess it can help, but if you're looking for a job in games specifically, you know, people need to know you can do more than just sculpt. But it can definitely help get your name out there, I guess. Thanks, Phantom. Hey, Javier, if I, did, I hope I pronounced your name right, Javier,
gonna change my music real quick. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, man. Did I get it right at least, or? Uh, that really depends on the character. Uh, I can't really give you a concrete answer. Oh, nice. Oh no. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, come on. There we go.
work at Frontier Developments. Uh, in terms of how long I get to sculpt for the channel, um, I actually have a time slot of seven hours, but the next person starts seven hours after me, so I could technically go for seven hours straight. Um, but I normally try to keep it between four and five. Thanks, man. It's funny because I do actually specialize in humans, in like human anatomy, but uh, I'm not that comfortable yet to stream me doing like human stuff, so I'm just doing creatures. Because there's more uh, kind of room for error. For me personally, at least. Yeah, that's the thing, that's why I'm doing it right now. But I do plan on uh, doing faces at one stage. That is something people are interested in seeing. Hey, dude. Uh, I'm, I don't know, I'm not sure. Take breaks, read a book, go outside. <laughs> Like try to expose yourself to kind of different sources of kind of media and ideas. Not just, you know, games and movies. <laughs> I don't talk talk to people can help give you ideas as well because you're not seeing somebody else's kind of perspective, I guess.
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's understandably been quite difficult to do that because of COVID. I'm not sure what the regulations are in your area. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't like trying to suggest that uh, you weren't or anything. Birds can help if you get a fresh perspective. I guess. Yeah, I heard it was quite rough in the beginning. Come on. I mean, I don't think you should be at your computer for 18 hours a day. Uh, but, yeah. All right. Yeah, I see the dog house. Uh, yeah, uh, do you mean back face mask? Or which, which, which one? Like, wait, let me show you. Um, are you having, like, this issue? Because uh, that's back face masking. <laughs> 
which you can find in brush, auto masking, and backface mask. So it prevents, um, the, you know, uh, it accidentally also inflating the wrong side of your model. Uh, I'll probably go to film, to be honest. I mean, collectibles uh, seems fun as well. So, I, I don't really mind. As long as I get to sculpt, I'm happy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and get the neck locked in. I'd like today might actually be a longer session, just because of the city of this guy. It's gonna be like, whoa, seven hours. I mean, hope not. Uh, no, not really. I don't spend a lot of time doing look dev. Smash this guy up at like eight o'clock, so in about fifteen minutes. Just gonna drag the image over and see how far off I am. Well, no problem, Driss. Um, so if you're Doing look dev and Arnold. Uh, I'm gonna assume you want to get into visual effects and film, because we don't like if that skill is kind of um, not required at all for games. Like it's a it's a different skill set. Until here. Uh, six. Six. Sorry, I'm just trying to count the um, folds on the neck of this guy's ass.
Oh yeah, I know, I know Tom Newberry. I think I actually met him once. Because uh, I think he's London based, or he used to be. Uh, but yeah, I remember watching his tour of the Mari. Like there was a creature artist that would used to organize uh, meetups in London. So everybody was just gonna go hang out and have like a drink. Which was always really nice to be honest. Uh, I kinda miss it. Yeah, I definitely know what you mean. Like, uh, I, I've seen my own... Um, I've watched my own Photoshop tutorials where... I don't want to say the person is useless, but um, I'm not learning as much as I paid for or expected to. Which can always be really, uh, like quite a big letdown. But yeah, like this isn't like my streams aren't really meant to be tutorials or anything. Just because I can't um, explain my entire workflow while trying to answer general questions in the chat. Oh, you know, I, I do do my do my best. So you know, it's help. I hope it's helpful for at least some of you. Try and round the top of the neck out a bit. This looks a bit wrong in uh, cross section. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, I mean, the general resources have been, like, learning resources have improved so much these past couple of years. Like, I mean, there are times when I'm jealous when I see what's out there now, I'm like, damn, I wish I had that when I started. But, yeah, I can, I can understand the frustration, uh, <laughs> to some extent. Like, I was still probably quite spoiled in comparison. I guess it's kind of the whole issue of, back in my day, we didn't have that. You kids nowadays are so spoiled. Yeah, it's kind of what I did. Um, which, you know, had its own drawbacks, to be honest.
Oh yeah, thanks man. I did not. Thanks, Moon. Yeah, no, I did not work on the uh, Odyssey expansion. Overly dangerous. Oh, no, I don't use slash three. are you taking? So like there was a um, NPC did do a presentation on it a couple of years ago at, um, at the Zebra Summit. I think it was 2016? Where they kind of talk about how they did it. So if you want to texture and do scaly skin, uh, you're going to have to use alphas. But it will look kind of weird if your shapes aren't right. Oh, damn. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, there's sadly not much I can do, like I don't I don't speak uh, Portuguese. Uh, I've used ZBrush for about six years. Oh no, I, so I just I inserted a um, sphere like as a multi mesh, and then I quickly just scaled it and uh, dynameshed it in. Oh damn, sir, quite new. That's cool. Those are the most exciting, um, but also more most confusing in the first couple months of using the software. I remember I actually used to struggle quite a bit 
uh, when it came to at what stage I should uh, zero mesh. But you just kind of figure it out over time after using it for a while. This guy is kind of stuck at this point. Um. No problem, dude. Um, so if you look at my orc video, I kind of zero mesh, I kind of show how I normally zero mesh a human face. Even though, you know, in that example, it's kind of an orc. But uh, I, I put in the same, I, it was like the same process I normally go through when I'm doing a human face as well. Uh, if you want to see how I did that, it's in my second episode. It is 8 o'clock, which means I am two hours in. Which means I'm just going to try and match this guy to the image at this point. Um, because I'm not going to be able to get something in time otherwise. So let's see. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Mm -hmm. Whee! Uh, this is like a concept sculpt that was made by Mauricio Ruiz. Uh, you can find him at ArtStation. He's very good as you can see. And my model is very off. I think. Uh, it's 200... the head is 230,000 and the total, like all the meshes combined, is 294. Scale this down more. Oops. Let's see. Weesh. No, 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 no. Let's go mash this up now. Thanks, dude. Uh, I'm glad it's helping. But yeah, I'm basically just trying to sculpt this guy really fast, so that's why I'm just matching it up now. Thanks, man. Because, uh, you know, I'd love to take this guy further, but it's just. It's going to take ages otherwise, and I just don't have the time. Or I feel like I don't. But yeah, if you want to um, check out 
the original design or the guy that created this concept sculpt. His name is. Let's see where his name is. It's right in the chat. Oh god, I have caps on. Uh, yes. He does have an art station page. So if you guys want to give him a follow, he does he has like a bunch of cool stuff. So I just kinda of grabbed this. And I've been referencing it the entire time so far. It is pretty cool. Hey, Mate. Yes, I am. I am. Come on. There we go. Exactly, you don't have to adjust that much, it seems. So that's cool. Gonna store a constant camera view so I can just snap back to this later. There's matching this up shouldn't take too long, it's like maybe 15 minutes. Hopefully. Because I do still have all the shapes in place, it's just they're kind of not arranged properly. I go in. Hey, yeah, well done. Um, no, I'm not going to do a body for this. Yeah, uh, glad you have the dragon, Kira. Uh, so this guy is actually from uh, Godzilla, like the second Godzilla movie, from I think it's from 2019. Oh yeah, so like my uh, art station is like, oh wait, you can't see it, it's, no, it's over there uh, with my Instagram. Uh, so you can just you can just search my name as well and it should show up. But it's always kind of confusing when you're trying to figure out what side uh, you actually have to point to. Okay, let's see. Let's move this. No problem. Oh, there we go. So much better. All right.
Alright guys, I gotta take a really quick break. Um, I'll be right back. If you have any questions, you can just uh, write it in the chat. Uh, yeah, that is the legendary one, uh, like the one from 2019. Uh, still a bit blobby, but I'll try to figure it out. Anyway, go back. Uh, yeah, it keeps jumping to the uh, screensaver. Uh, uh, this is actually my first time trying to replicate your stuff. Like, I just kind of randomly thought of stuff I could sculpt today, and then this guy just popped in my head. So I ended up just finding his work through uh, Google. But yeah, it's really cool. I like it. I hope I'm doing it some sort of justice. Um. Hey, Gabriel. Mm -hmm. Store the side view. Also, one thing I actually noticed uh, from the last stream, like I said, I, I do, I do quickly skim through the replays, um, and there seems to be an issue where some messages from the chat just don't seem to show up, or I generally don't remember seeing them. Um, so I'm open seeing everybody's stuff. Like if I, if I miss a question, just send it in the chat again. And I hope it's just that I'm blind or something. Thanks, Gabriel. I appreciate it. Well, let's see how much of this guy's neck do I actually have to do for a nice <laughs> side image because that neck is going to be hell. Um, 
So let's say about this much. Let's say about this much. <laughs> I'm just gonna draw a line in because I don't wanna. Oh no. Um, color fill object. Let's control red line. Like right, <laughs> gonna stop somewhere there. Thanks, Gabriel. move. Oh. No, there we go. Uh, I'm trying to get it somewhat like the image, I'm not going for super precise. Um, so I know if there are some things that are mismatching, I'm not going to do that, but I'm just trying to get the placement of stuff somewhat right. So I'm just going to block some stuff in real quick. Yeah, yeah, I'm still working on that. Like, I do try and uh, answer as many questions as I can. Sometimes I just miss things. Um, See you around, Monte. Thanks for stopping by.
Mm, I'm not sure what problem you mean, but yeah, like I I use this one for kind of everything, like subtract, add everything. What? Oh, add RGB enabled. Uh, yeah, like uh, let me show you here. So it has a sad round shape or like a hard edge or anything. Um, yeah, you can I can use it as a trim dynamic basically. So it, it's just for me it's kind of multifunctional. Uh, no, because the, the alpha is quite flat except towards the edges. So you know there's mainly a fall off around the edge. So the base stroke is quite flat. I guess it's just kind of like this. It's still clay build up just with a kind of a softer alpha. Matches the image now. Come on. Um. Hmm. There we go. I think I might have everything blocked in on the head that I want to. So I think I'm gonna zero mesh the head for now. Mm, the porn is thicker the base though. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Oh, no, wrong button. I'm gonna leave it like at that for now. Sorry, it's trying to get closer to the screen. <laughs> um, health. 
actually, let me try a match from the front before I do the, the beak spikes. Um, but just remember, I have to give it a tongue as well, so I'm just going to use a cube. Actually, no, there's a faster way. I was going to use extract uh, inside of the mouths. There we go. Uh, no, extract, no thickness, whatever. Play. Check my other ref. I'm just opening the same ref sheet twice so I can keep the one in the background. Um, just because I'm not sure if I actually want the tongue to curl that way. Okay. So it's quiet. Relaxed, because it's quite curvy there. Probably the most predictable for me, just because I used it so often. So like I, I do like I've used, I feel like I've used these brushes for such a long time. I just kind of know, uh, kind of what um, size and sensitivity I need to get the stroke I want. If that makes sense. Jesus. Spotify is like playing the worst remix right now. So I'm just change that real quick. <laughs>
You know, I'm just gonna zero my shit now. Because I can still adjust the general proportions when it's oh. Right from you. Um, how do I do this? Uh, we'll put the pure F a third time. Let's see. Front view is here. Uh, go away. Go away, Fortnite. I do hope we have the same perspective setting. I think these aren't orthographic, maybe. Hmm. 
Thanks, Yvonne. Oh, wow, I did not keep an eye on the chat. Sorry, guys. Uh, well, character art for games, for movies. Like, it's a bit... Your question is currently a bit too vague for me to give you a good answer. Oh no, I didn't save it. No. Right, let's see. Document custom two. Oh, if you wanna, uh, if you wanna work in games, do not do final character art in Arnold because that's a different pipeline. Like that skill is kind of wasted if you're gonna. Oh no. No, no. <laughs> um. Yeah, you know, this is orthographic, I guess. It seems all very orthographic, so I'm just gonna nudge it a bit. Um ba, 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 da, ba. Oof. Right, well, if you think this games is very specific uh, as to our demands, what our demands are, so uh, if you are not showing in a portfolio that you can do uh, like good topology, good UVs, uh, good PBR texturing, then it's like we're not, you're not going to be considered. Can't, you sadly can't do kind of everything at once. I would try and just choose one and focus on that. Because if you're, you know, if you're trying to do like three things at once, you're always going to be beaten by people that are just doing, trying to do one thing. Because they're actually able to fully focus on it.
Which group is it? The game pipeline isn't that complex once you just kind of know. Uh, when you've done it once. Um, but just to kind of have it look good, it can take quite a while, especially in your first run. But yeah, I would just, like, you know, if you're going to do, um, in your day job, you're only going to be doing one of those things. You're not going to be doing games, movies, and collectibles at the same time. So I'm just going to, I feel, in my opinion, you have to choose. I'm going to zero match this now. Way overdue right now. Right. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, well, in that case, if you've got, got that already sorted, then that's cool. Um, but yeah, like I, I don't feel giving that comfortable giving people like career advice really because you know I don't know all the factors or anything that they have going on. Um, so I just I'm just quite worried of potentially unintentionally giving people advice that could be harmful, which you know I, I obviously don't want to do. I'm just going to focus on the head for now. Let's do that. Uh, so I've only used Mari very briefly, but I mainly use Substance for texturing. Um, and I haven't really had any issues with it. So yeah, like I'm starting to hear that you're having problems getting used to Substance. Don't worry, man. You'll figure it out. Come on.
Oh, man. Oh. What? Whatever, I'm sure I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh it's not bad, it's just not as good. Like, I just want to um, retain some of the edges I made. Right, let's see. I should save this file. Uh, just a sec, I'll have a look at your question in a minute. Save. Uh, oh, okay, no, already answered it then. Like. It's not that it's bad, it's just that I prefer to yeah, keep some edge loops going. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Uh, I do. Oh my god, it's still going. Uh, I do. Oh, there we go. It's moving. Um, but sometimes I do like to th keep things kind of low. Not that low, though. Oh, what's happening? Yeah, no, that's too low. Uh, let's put it at point four. Uh, but I, I like to keep some sort of control over the eyelid curvature, and if it's lower resolution, I can. It's easier to do that. Like I do try to keep just my subdivision one low, just so I can move uh, edges around easier. Because the more points you have, the harder the shape is to control.
work. Ah, uh, yeah, so that's what I normally do, is, um, I zero mesh it, then I start prop I can properly sculpt stuff. Uh, before, before that, I'm just blocking things in. But things have a tendency to speed up by quite a bit uh, as soon as as you mesh things. Uh, let's see. There is a pole. I don't like it. It's quickly gonna fix it manually. Where is the delete function? Single poly. Go away. Um, just insert another edge loop here. Stitch. Is this what is going on?
Yeah, good enough. Let's reproject this. I may or may not be like an hour behind schedule. <laughs> At least what I thought I'd be. No. No. This guy <sighs> to a more polished state because this is very rough. Go away. at the neck something is slowing my document down uh, it's a head of Rodan from Godzilla that is kind of a dragon
Ooh. Hey, dude. I'm good, I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I speak English. What's up?
No problem, dude. Thanks for watching. Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. I'll try. Um, I'm quite busy these days. But I'll try and get something out at some point. Um, yeah. Thanks, man. I'll see you around. So I currently have what I have five subdivision levels and I'm at six hundred and fifty thousand points.
I honestly, I don't think I can give you a proper answer to that either, because that depends on the artist, depends on the piece. Um, like, for example, this guy right now is taking me a lot longer than my sculpts normally take, because I'm trying to go for an accurate, well, not somewhat accurate um, match. Um, but for me, normally, I, when I'm doing a sketch, I try to stick to about five hours, and then I'm just gonna leave it. Um, for games, it can take weeks, months. I, I really can't give a proper answer. Oh, come on. Uh, okay. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, it's my own. It's my own brush. Uh, I just modified clay buildup with a different alpha, and then increased roll distance.
Thanks, man. That's cool. Oh yeah, I think it looks hard from the outside if you ask me. So if you like what what do you want to do in terms of 3D modeling? Do you want to do environments, characters, props? Uh yeah, sure. You can you can do character designs in ZBrush. D models. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can uh, export it as, a, as an OBJ or an FBX or whatever file format works for you, like two other softwares.
Uh, yes, I am. Oh, uh, that's just a normal function uh, in ZBrush itself. Like that's that's what if you have subdivision levels. It's just to save, uh, increase performance basically. Thanks, Darko. I appreciate the guns' words. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm just doing it for fun. Uh, no, just a sketch for fun. Yeah. Uh, do the details. I'm not sure what you mean with the question, Darko. Uh, yeah, so basically if you want more details, you need more subdivisions, which will equal more points, which equals a larger file size, yeah. I'm from Switzerland. What about you? Nice. That's fine. Uh, I can still tell what you're saying. I like understand what you're trying to say. Uh, I'm from Basel. Oh, actually not really into football, dude, sorry.
<laughs> Sorry, man. God. Uh, oh, nice Darko. That's cool. Uh, so I, I work uh, at a games company. But yeah, I mean, I guess you could sell them on places like your files in places like CG Trader or something. Uh, also, this is not my design, it's, it's based off of a concept. So I'm not sure if I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to sell this. Since the rights to the cartridge do not belong to me. Oh no, my perspective was off. I guess I'm still looks fine, I guess. I'm good. That's cool. Not a big issue. Um, so I'm just gonna top myself over a couple of years. I'm um, 22.
Ah, yeah, it's modifies a clay builder brush. Thanks, man. All right, dude. I'll see you around. <laughs> Thanks, you too, man. Try to survive this year. Damn, dude. It's gonna, I don't know. Try and stay positive. You know? It's too repeating.
Uh, there we go. Uh, I don't know. I work digitally. Oops. Thank you.
Uh, no, I'll use it for sketching. Or when there's an asset that's kind of so small or simple that I don't have to zero mesh it. The stream is probably going to take at least one hour longer until I get this guy to the point I want him to be. Let me break. Oh. The repeating shape here because it looks very unnatural. Uh, it's Rodan from Godzilla. It's like a big kind of pterodact pterodactyl. Okay, I'll pull up this uh, picture in a sec. I don't know if I can flatten this more. Right, uh, I'm sculpting this guy. I think it looks like this. Yep. Thanks. Yeah, they're like quite niche films, I feel. Uh, I've been sculpting for six years. And before that, I used to draw for quite a while. Yes, that is Rodan. Oh, oh god. Wrong brush. Thought it crashed for a second. 
Or just gives you a mini heart attack when it like freezes up for a couple of seconds. Yeah, yeah, that's him. You got it right. 100 points. Yeah, dude. Go for it. Uh, no, I didn't. I am self-taught.
Um, let's see. Hello, from Mario. Uh, I have a go. So, um, I've worked on Paragon, uh, was it Planet Zoo, and uh, Jurassic World Evolution Two. distracted by the corner of the jaw right now. I uh, know, I just do characters, so I'm a character artist. Uh, it's actually used to sculpt with uh, Zantique for a couple of years. Um, I, I I don't know any specific tips now to navigate ZBrush with it. Like, just as normal. Are you using a keyboard with it, or are you trying to use the shortcuts on the side? Thank you. 
Uh, that means you probably have another object in your sub tool that is in a different position. So the camera is basically trying to include both. So just check uh, how many objects you have in your sub tools. Other than that, uh, it might just be that you're not used to the navigation in the software yet, which you know just takes some time to get used to. Okay, and then it's then you're just gonna get how long did you so you, did you just start? Oh yeah, then I think it's just you just gotta get used to it. Um, if you do lose track of where your object is, you can just press F. Oh right, I mean, I just have the default settings for my pen. So, you know, left and right click and that's it. So I use a Wacom Intuos 3. Like inside of ZBrush or in general? Uh, well, when I'm doing a, when I'm doing a game mesh, uh, I texture uh, my models inside of Substance Painter. Other than that, I normally don't really paint them. I know we just do the eyes, and that's there. do whatever we want to be honest. Just get used to the software.
depends what you want to do it for. If it's for something like Keyshot, uh, you can just do zero mesh. If it's for a game model, you have to re topologize it manually. Thanks, dude. Oh, oh god. Thanks, Billy. Um, well, to answer Kriozaban, Kriozaban's question, uh, in my opinion, the best play, the best software to use to learn sculpting is ZBrush. I don't really do stylized stuff to be honest. Like I've never really tried it. So I guess no. I agree with Ragnar. It's cool. Full body or just head? Well, so I'm probably gonna keep going for about an hour. guys are in luck. This is going to be a very long stream today. Oh, 
dude. I mean, level detail on this guy. I don't know. A couple of weeks, two months, three. <laughs> I don't know. It's really hard to say, like, because I don't even have the full body image of him, but he's really, really intricate. Uh, I go for whatever I need in terms of uh, polys. Like it, if it gives me nice shapes or the, the amount of like detail I need in the forms, that's cool. Uh, otherwise, I go higher. But this is working fine for now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Hey Andre, nice to see you here. Um, so I've done you know hard surface things before, like a like in ZBrush as well, or Max. Um, but I do prefer doing um, organic stuff. Uh, I do want to get into properly doing hard surface one day, but not now. It's not really a priority, but I do kind of like the idea. So, you know, I don't know, maybe in a couple of years, <laughs> unless my job requires me to do hard surface suddenly. Thanks, man. We gotta really speed this up. It's getting late. to be honest. Like it's cute and all, but uh, I'm not really interested in sculpting Pikachu. Come on. There we go. Right brush. Yes, that is good. All right. Uh, uh, oh god. Um. I feel like it's probably important that you get somebody that can give you feedback. Like try not if you're at a school or anything, try not to compare yourself to the other students. Uh, try to compare yourself to people that are already in the industry. Just to kind of see what's necessary, the standard that is expected of you. 
zoom out because I'm way too zoomed in. I'm just going to hint at these shapes here now. more than this. Like I'm just trying to get some kind of break up on the skin now here. And some sort of refinement on the spikes here. Then I kinda of wanna just take the neck slightly further. And that's it. Like they're probably out. today because it is nearly 11. Uh, no. Sorry, man. Uh, just the default. So, yeah, like nothing, nothing fancy, dude. Sure, hit me.
times. Um, yeah, I probably could. I mean, in, in the yeah, the concept sculpt is tongue is a lot more curved and he has like spikes on it. I can actually just try and do that now. Oh god, it's too strong. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Subtips. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can do this fast. Just for fun.
Thanks, Andrew. Uh, to answer Ragnar's question, I think I actually had one. I made one years ago. But I don't use it. He's marvelous designer for clothes. Mm, that's a bit much. There's spikes on the side. Oh, glass. Uh, I've never tried that part actually before. I haven't made clothes in the wild, to be honest. But I just, I don't know. Maybe one day. I did already reach apologize it. Some sort of very rushed neck armor. <laughs> um, some shape. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, I might if I I might refine some of my sketches more at some point. Um, depending how far I get this guy in the next thirty-ish minutes, uh, maybe we'll even continue this guy next week. But who knows?
Uh, it's not the time for it yet. I'm still trying to get all the other shapes down. I would normally, I don't really use alphas to be honest. Um, like, a, you know, like at work we have procedures to do that sort of stuff in substance. But alphas aren't really important to me. I care more about the shapes. Let's see if I can merge the spikes here in. This is stressful. What are you talking about? Thanks, dude. Nice seeing you here, man. Love your stuff. No problem, dude. I was actually just looking at it earlier today. <laughs> Thanks, dude.
Thanks, Roland. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I have a second monitor with reference to it. Uh, like I, if you skim through the stream, which is getting longer and longer, uh, but there are times where I do quickly pull it up, uh, like my reference. Um, but yeah, I'm just really trying to wrap this guy up within, uh, by half past, so. Uh, I want to sleep. Um, uh, mostly just, at this point, it's gonna gut feeling. Like, if the, I normally try to work as low as I can in terms of, what is happening? Oh, I keep trying to subdivide this thing and I can't. <laughs> um, but I basically try to work at lowest resolution possible, so I have the most control over the model. I'm not sure if that helped. <laughs> Thanks, man. No, like, it's just like, I'm, you know, I'm not like, oh, I'm suffering. But, um, it is just getting late. And I think I have two hours left until the next person starts. his face again. Let's do the neck. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions, you should probably ask them right now. Just because I'm wrapping this up. <laughs> I mean, according to the stereotype, no. It's not. I like to disagree, though. Ah. 
stop working on the head. Like I did have uh, so my first a couple of first professional freelance uh, gig after one and a half years, two and a half maybe. I think it was two and a half. Uh, then I started working full time after I think, three years. I've lost count at this point. Um, yeah, I mean, most of uh, MR station portfolio, if you go to the work that's before my hand study, uh, that's the stuff I had before I got hired, and I had like a, an old Predator model, uh, but I just kind of hate that on my art station, because it's just really, really old. So, you know. Oh yeah, so if you lose detail when you're using uh, your measure, you have to you're supposed to reproject your model. Uh, so there's a nice little button here uh, called project, and you basically you, before using your mesh, you duplicate your mesh, then you use your mesh one of them, um, and then you divide it a bunch of times, um, and then you project it for each subdivision. And then you should normally have a matching model. Okay, it's it's uh, I did it on my stream earlier. So this guy is basically it's basically it's fan art of a Godzilla movie. No problem. Maps. Oh, yeah. To answer Jimmy's question, he's from a Godzilla movie, like the second one, King of the Monsters. This is Rodan. Um, let me do 
some table to do this. Got it. Pull. I mean, you know, if you don't want to watch them, it's cool. And there's like a cat screaming outside or something. <laughs> thanks man, thanks cassette. Um, thanks best. Uh this is a kaiju from kind of Godzilla. Uh, I'm just gonna zoom this real quick. So I want some more control. So we've got a wasp before about zero meshing, but it's gonna show it now actually. So you are in luck. I should have saved. Please don't crash. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Okay, I got lucky. That is too dense. Let's just put 2.1. Save. And uh, what are they? Beer mesh. Yes, it is Matt. Uh, yeah, no, like I don't know. Uh, people kept being like, "No, save for zero mesh. It's gonna crash." It hasn't really happened to me often. Um, ZBrush has crashed a bunch of times, but it's I think it's mainly just been because I used the move topology brush on a really dense mesh. 
uh, there's like kind of lots of pieces sticking off, so it just doesn't really know what to do. Go on. Yeah. See, that's more like it's really low poly. <laughs> Alright. Perfect. Thank you. I also think the neck tube looks amazing. Since I'm gonna angle in to kind of face forward, I don't really have to dig in far under the scales. It's not really gonna be visible. But I'm trying to get a clean edge here. Hey Frank. Good to see you too. I'm good, I'm good. Slightly tense because I'm trying to let this guy up as fast as I can. Hey, how are you doing, man? Last week feels like yesterday, to be honest. Thanks, Frank. That's you're doing okay, man. Oh, dude, it's really cool. Yeah, I mean, my week was alright. Um, just, you know, working. Met some people at a pub. Had a couple of drinks. Nothing too crazy, to be honest, but, you know, it's nice.
Yeah. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, I'm just going to try and solve these shapes, kind of whatever, right now. Uh, yeah, sure, I can show the reference at the end. Um, I did show it earlier in the stream as well. fast right now. <laughs> I'm going to turn dynamic on for some reason. Thanks, Camilla. Uh, just default hockeys, which is why I keep making mistakes sometimes and rushing too much. I'm not sure what these shapes are here. I think there's like holes in these guys for some reason.
Yeah, getting a bit sleepy now, but it's all good. I should have finished two minutes ago. <laughs> like, by my own deadline, that's fine. The uh, next guy is gonna take some time. Uh, he's still on in like two hours. But I don't wanna go for that long. The reasons I basically keep the uh, poly count low is so that if there's like if I lose track of the overall shape, I can just go to the lowest level and be like, oh okay, well you know the next to be narrower here, and there to be a certain ridge along here, and then I just narrow it up around the top as well, and boom. This is a pterodactyl. Uh, it's a Rodan from Godzilla. So I guess it counts as a vi Wyvern. Thanks, Lucy. <sighs> Thanks, Rule.
See you, moon. Probably nothing. <laughs> uh, I'll do a ZBrush render, actually, I think. I like this guy. Uh, I'll try to post it tomorrow or something. I mean, I wouldn't recommend any number of subdivisions. What you want to do is you just want to have as many points as you need, right? So, you know, like, I'm not looking at, like, oh, you know, I want what the neck right now is 300,000 points. It's like, oh, I need 300,000 points for the neck for some reason. It's like, it's just because it gives me uh, enough points to just work with right now. So, yeah, those are the amount of points I'm going to use. If you don't need them, don't divide it, basically. Right, I'm going to quickly merge the horns into the neck, which means I'm going to do a backup, um, convert this to a very dense Dynamesh. Dynamesh, let's go. Okay, maybe not that dense. Jesus. Uh, let's say about 200. Katavas just jumped ahead to 4 million. It's still way too intense. Uh, 120. No. I do not want to use polypane. Um, no, I don't. I don't animate. Um, I'm not an animator. I don't know how to rig either. Backup duplicate. Let's see. Let's merge this down. Merge, merge down. Yes. Dynamesh. Um. Uh, no, I don't sell them either. Like, I just work at a games company. Uh, that's basically it. 
Uh, how come? Also, I couldn't sell this guy uh, because, you know, I'm not. It's not my own character. I'm pretty sure I'll get sued. Yes, this is absolutely my OC that just, you know, somehow has, uh, it was inspired by the uh, legendary version of Rodan. <laughs> Rodan. It's kind of funny when, when I told people, it's like, oh, what are you going to sculpt this evening? It's like, oh, Rodan. It's like, oh, the sculptor. It's like, no, the monster. <laughs> Thanks, Darko. And thanks, man. I appreciate it. No, no, no. All right. Let's see what's left. I can hide the. Uh... Ah, okay. I could do the forehead stuff. Just use a mix between uh, my own custom built clay build up and. Um, oh no, my Bluetooth 
your butt's battery died. Uh, sorry. Uh, I use a mix between my own clay builder brush and a standard brush. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I think those are like the two big ones. And then it's just smaller stuff. Thanks, man. Not sure when I actually post new stuff there, but I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, I just use four brushes. Thanks, bud. Yeah, this one took me quite a lot longer. Oh my god, I'm out time. Jesus. pushing it today. We're just gonna finish these uh, plates up here and then I'm off. Which I feel like I've said like so many times during the stream, but uh, I'll let you know I would only have one hour left. I would only have one hour left anyway. for this. I'm just doing some fun. Like it's just, you know, good to just kind of blow off some steam, do some fan art, whatever, without worrying too much about stuff, I guess. Because I'm not, like, you know, this isn't like a portfolio piece, or I'm not considering it to be one. It's just a really fast sketch. 
sharpen these some more. Sorry for not super responsive to the chat. Right now I'm just Yeah, I just basically do if I want bumpy stuff I do squiggles with my custom brush. And that normally does the trick. Come on. So I'm a character artist, I'm not sure if you might be looking for one as a creature, 3D creature designer, or what are you looking for? She thought it just crashed right when it was about to be done. All right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, well done. Uh, so it's a custom Mac app, and I honestly forgot. <laughs> it does have a slight spec highlight on it. Um, well, it's basically the basic material. Uh, just a slight, with a slight tweak. Alright, so... I think that... This... Wraps it up. Uh, bulge on the side.
can't stop. Help. <sighs> Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, you know, the, the design from uh, the Godzilla movie. So it's not my design. I'm just copying it. Uh, I'll show it in a sec. I'll leave just squiggling over this right now at a low setting. Uh, right. Yeah, like if as soon as you give it some sort of uh, skin breakup, uh, it looks more organic. But if it's a clean kind of surface, it can look kind of unnatural. But yeah, so yeah, this guy is done. I think like I'm doing this like a stereotypical uh, naming conventions for file files but it's like final 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 when I'm like oh I'm finished <laughs> uh, all right Does anybody have any questions? Please just say no one other <laughs> because then I'll be like, I'll stop. No, I'm kidding. Uh, right. Yeah, I consider this guy done. Yeah, any questions just hit me. Cool, well, I'm not seeing any questions, so in that case, uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna head off. Thanks everyone for joining. Uh, uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I did quite enjoy the challenge, and this guy has a really cool design. Uh, when it comes to who designed this guy, uh, he is called uh, Maurice Service Design. Let me link his art station. It's because I feel a bit dirty if I don't credit the guy that actually designed this guy. Here we go. This guy. So if you like the actual design, uh, go follow this guy. Uh, if you want to follow my social media, uh, it is over there, like so, my Instagram and my art station are basically my name. Like I should show up uh, if you search me. Um, yeah. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, thank guys. Um, I'll see you again next week. Uh, I'll be streaming at the same time again. And yeah. All right. See you guys. Bye.